tough one. Uh, they, from start to finish, I thought they, they obviously played better, played physical. They got what they wanted offensively. Uh, we weren't as, as aggressive as I thought we would be and should be. They were like, we allowed the ball to flow through the air, and they made plays, made shots. Uh, we knew Stanley could make shots. Some other guys made some big shots, big threes. You know, just could never get over the hump. We cut it to nine. Thought those guys did a great job being aggressive um, and just weren't able to finish the game. Question? This is special in the first half. Was their shooting more due to them just shooting well, or were you unhappy with the defense? Well, you got to give them credit because they made the shots, but I, I was certainly unhappy with the defense, but you got to give credit that they did make the shots. Yeah. Oh, been, been, been great. I just think we, we weren't great tonight. We weren't great defensively tonight. Uh, and give, them, give those guys credit. They drove the ball. They were physical. They got offensive rebounds. They made shots. Uh, like I said, we knew Stanley could make shots and make plays. Uh, but some other guys, you can't allow them to get off. Uh, we weren't a sharp pressure in the basketball and even on our, our ball screen assignments. You said you knew Stanley could make shots. Specifically on his last, his last three when uh, it was their second three in a row, but it took, I think, close to or go back up 17. What, what happened there? What did you see there? Just uh, Javon ran at the ball, and he was wide open, just made a three. Yeah. On the handful of unforced turnovers tonight, the live ball turnovers, yeah. just how frustrating are those? Certainly frustrating, especially the first two. I think uh, Dejuan had one, and then Boogie came down with the next one. I mean, that can't happen. Not, not, not the start of a game. Uh, that can't happen because you give guys momentum. They're able to make plays. And now you're fighting to get back in it. Coach, you guys are one and nine uh, coming off of uh, victories. What do you think is like causing that? Oh, it's different things, different games. You watch, you watch and evaluate games. I just, we didn't come out with an edge tonight. I think that was the cause of this one because uh, I think we've been playing good basketball. We just didn't have the edge we needed. We knew they were running at him, uh, but I, I told him to still be aggressive, make plays at the rim. And I, I even thought late to continue to make plays at the rim. And I think he thought, because they were pressuring and they were running at him, uh, and then he became more of a passer. But I thought there were still opportunities for him to score and be aggressive at the rim. They held Kobe to uh, six points tonight. What do you think was kind of working for them defensively and adversely what was not really working for him offensively? I don't know if it's as much as they held him. Because uh, Kobe has the opportunity to score and make plays. There have been other games he's had six or seven points. I just think he has to finish those at the rim, uh, continue to work hard to get to the free throw line, but also get offensive rebounds. But I'm not, I'm not so so sure as a, a them shutting him down with two or three guys running. I don't think that was necessarily the case. Well, I think in, in this case, we need to be better, more efficient offensively, getting the ball, getting to a flow, because I think that made us stagnant. I had him stopping at the half court. Now we're not flowing as well as we need to. And then I think that takes away from his focus, because now he's so consumed with trying to get the ball across half court instead of speed driven, making the next play. Because um, it's not as if he's 0 for 10 and missing a lot of shots. Uh, but I think he has to be better, because what happens, teams put pressure on him. And I think where he has to continue to get better is driving the ball in, in the lane in traffic and finishing strong because he has a good size. So he's had to get better there. And he has to continue to flow offensive. But in the other part, he has to be better defensively. Yeah. You mentioned, you know, the slow start tonight and the offense was kind of stagnant. Uh, how do you want the team to kind of improve in the mindset going into Well, it's been improved. So, but, but specifically this game, you got to get off to a better start. I mean, that's. I, mean, I guess that's the easy answer. You can't turn. You can't have your first two possessions as turnovers, um, and then you and then you have to play with edge on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you have to. I mean, we'll watch the necessary things, and and I, I like to think our guys know and understand that they, they didn't play the way we know how to play, and you move on to the next one. You don't have a lot of time. You can't you can't get consumed with you. Consume with it, but you got to learn from it. Yeah. Cause you guys lost uh, by combined 69 points to Arkansas. All other SEC games, though, have been fairly close outside of Arkansas. Yeah. What do you think it is about the fact that you guys? Well, I'm not sure. We just lost the game. We didn't play well. Um, 
I don't think it's anything magical. We didn't play well at all. I think you, you've been able to see that. Uh, we've improved in a lot of areas. We didn't play well at night, but we've improved in a lot of areas, offensive, defensively. Uh, you, look at the, you look at the league numbers, non-conference as opposed to conference. So yes, great improvements. Well, I think you've shown it. If, you, if you're in the league before this game, we were shooting 45, 46 percent in the league and, and third in the conference at field goal percentage offense. So I think that's in the 11 games, how many games we played, that's improvement as opposed to non-conference. I'm not going to get consumed with one game. You learn from and you keep moving. How do you go about game planning for the same team in three days? Is it just one, one at a time? Well, you focus. You, the most important thing is winning, preparing to win the first game. That's the most important thing. And obviously, you have a lot of data uh, with such a quick turnaround to be ready for the next game. You've had a lot of success in the first half driving the lane. How do you inspire that same aggression in the rest of the offense to take it easy? Well, that's one of the things that we, we, we talk about, you know, driving the ball, making plays at the rim, being aggressive, being tough. Because um, we wanted a better free throw shooting team, so we have to get to the free throw line more. And I think a lot of you know Kobe being assertive at the free throw line. Javon does a good job. I thought Javon did the best job of getting in the lane in the first half, and we have to be consistent with that. Um, were you concerned about that? You allowed Arkansas to score uh, almost they, they were scoring eleven to twenty one. Was that concerning to you? Well, of course I was concerned. Uh, yeah, but you you don't have ten or eleven timeouts in the game to. To regroup, you got I mean, stuff you practice. Uh, just didn't play well. Yeah. One more question. Thank you.